<laughs> if I can't make a gig, I'm going to call you. Hey, that's Frank. Cool, man. I'll be the short, fat, flying Regan. Yeah, man, that's, that's very flattering. Hey, hey Frank, man. can I put you on the spot? Sure. Yeah, you got to do just like a, just a, a tiny bit of uh, Al Pacino for uh, Brian. Mr. Regan, my name's Al. How you doing? I'm doing good. Listen, I was wondering how I could get into doing some comedy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I the other day, I was thinking about back to my childhood. <laughs> and you might have recalled. Like, oh, Al. Losing them. We I lost. Mean, I'd be brilliant, really too. It's tough when you drive it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Is <laughs> anybody listening? Yeah, so, uh, we got you now, man. Yeah, there you go. You got a cup of dirt. That's what I was trying to get to. You. <laughs> guess, what? guess what, friends? It didn't work out. <laughs> I, that would blow my mind to see Al Pacino doing my cup of tea. <laughs> cup of you got a cup of dirt. It's a cup of dirt. Got a cup of cup of dirt. All right. Thank you, Frank. Sorry, it wasn't that funny. No, no, no it, was, it was good. Your phone was crapping out on us. Oh, Love was it? it? Yeah. So good, let's let's blame it on that. And I look no, forward to hearing let's... your John Madden one day too, man. I hear that's on. Oh the yeah, go ahead. Hey, hey, someday that guy, uh, uh, when you, uh, uh, and that, and there, and, and, uh, and, that, and there you go. <laughs> sometimes you got a, sometimes you got a cell phone, and if it works real good, that means there's a tower nearby, and if you got a tower nearby, that, that's a, that's a good thing, and when there's no tower nearby, then that's a bad thing, and good things, as we know, are better than bad things. <laughs> Bad things aren't as good as good things. Sometimes there's a good thing that can be a bad thing for somebody else, and that's not the, that's not the best kind of thing for, for that person. But at least it's good for you, and when it's good for you and it's not good for them, there's good and bad. And uh, good versus evil, there's a garden of Eden. And, uh, uh, you know, that's uh, the Bible. You probably read about that there. And uh, just, uh, Eve ate the, what's gave the forbidden fruit there. And, uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Bravo, there Frank. You. Hey, Frank, thank you. That's fantastic. All right, I'll leave you guys alone. Yeah, That's come great. see us soon, all right? <laughs> all right, we'll talk to you later. Thanks, Thanks you right. Right, Frank. Frank Caliendo. Man, <laughs> making me great, mad. Hey, we got we to back up a couple jokes. Jessica's a little bummed. She thinks the femur uh, broken bone thing should be more than a 10. <laughs> the hands the mostest. <laughs> She's looking uh, too into your bit. Jessica. This pain yes. goes to 11. Hey. Hi, Jessica. Yes, femur. You said you'd rate it a 10. No, much more than that, my friend. More than a 10. Much, much more than a 10. Yep. This is like that Spinal Tap episode. Yeah. 10 is the most. Well, why don't Did you, you just make it no, more? No, it, it's above the most. <laughs> you broke your femur, obviously. Yeah, I split it in half and popped it out of my leg. Nice. No! Okay, so that pain is 11. <laughs> 11, 11, 11 across the board. <laughs> yeah, I flipped the car. I'm damn proud of myself. All right, Jessica. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that's a big Bye -bye. bone Bye. to snap. Yeah, that's that's the biggest one. Yeah, Lexi. Hey, Lexi. Hey. hey, what's up? Hey, oh my God, Brian, you are killing me. Listen, um, it's daylight and kids are having birthday parties on my street, and you know they sort of wanted some ideas uh, for party games, and we we didn't know what to tell them. You well, know, I don't know. I would think uh, maybe some pin the tail on the donkey. <laughs> I think that's a great idea for kids. Why is it? Don't you think it's kind of dangerous, though? Well, no, I think, uh, I, I don't know what people were thinking when they came up with pin the tail on the donkey. <laughs> All right, we're going to have a whole bunch of kids over. <laughs> we're going to blindfold one, give them something sharp, spin them around, and let them go. Go, Bobby, with a pin. Just run a mock. <laughs> what are those noises? Those are puncture wounds, Bobby. Stop. <laughs> we made a horrible error. <laughs> Or you could try musical chairs. There, there's a nice little anxiety attack for seven-year-olds. <laughs> Only one kid can win. All the other kids are walking around. Ah, 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 ah. They're elbowing other five-year-olds. How was the party? It was horrible. I couldn't get a chair and I got a pin in my neck. I don't want to go back to that house. I got a pin in my jugular. You said that would be a happy house. You said! <laughs> so those are two options. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good setup by Lexi. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah the that's, softball lob. That's a quality setup there, man. <laughs> Lexi, uh, we'll see you at the uh, Caroline's oh side. Oh, my God. Uh, I guess I could... All right? 
All right, we're going to just let her go. Usually people set stuff up by saying the absolute last part of the joke, you know. Do the thing where you say jugular vein at the end. Erect <laughs> <laughs> it. That's a surprise. Do that. <laughs> the big yellow one's the sign. <laughs> <laughs> at least tonight when you uh, possibly do that, you won't be shocked when everyone starts screaming and applauding like the first time. <laughs> I know. That was so flattering. Why the hell are they applauding that much I, I, at that I didn't line? realize at the time that you guys just pumped that up, man. Yeah. And I, I, I certainly appreciate the support, but I was like thrown for a loop because you know usually you do it and hopefully you get a little bit of a laugh. I, I, I did it that night and it was people were like yelling, "The big yellow one's a son." I'm like, "What the hell is going on here, man?" <laughs> the call phrase of the retarded. <laughs> it really is. The joke hit this nerve before in front of a crowd. <laughs> Yeah, that was strange, but people are applauding and <laughs> ah, clapping. Man. They had their lighters out like you started I'm a honored, free bird man. or something. <laughs> hey, uh, I got a set up for you. Yeah? Brian, I, I recently learned heard. <laughs> like reading it. I recently, recently learned heard. I recently about. I recently heard that you learned to play chess. <laughs> 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 nice you know, setup. It's so subtle. Good? Thank you. I actually, I got a, a talent for that. I had a radio. Guy. I, I, don't, I may have told you this before. Hey, I went in there and I had written down some topics. I said, you know, you can get into them if you want. If not, that's fine. He goes, Brian, you wrote down here for me to ask you about dogs. Why do you have some good dog jokes? Oh, do I? Do I ever? I'm known for my funny dog jokes. Funny dog joke number one. <laughs> Now just sit back and be entertained sit by my back dog and jokes. Enjoy my dog <laughs> jokes. But you know it's funny you mentioned this thing about chess, Opie, because uh, <laughs> <'cause> I, <laughs> I just had a hunch, you know. I have been playing chess. Uh, you know, it, it, the thing that's weird about it, it doesn't end. It doesn't end right. It doesn't end like it, there's no finality to it. You know, you're just looking at the board and your opponent goes uh, checkmate, and you're like, my king is still there, and he's like. Yeah, but no matter what you do in the next move, I take the king in the following move, so it's a checkmate. And he's in the car heading home. No other game lets you do that. You know, you never see a quarterback coming up to the line. Touchdown! <laughs> the way your safeties are playing, we'll do a slant pass underneath the coverage. Too much of a cushion. Six points. Touchdown. <laughs> hey, why don't you score a touchdown, man? And then you get warned, which is, you don't see that in anything else either. In chess, before you ever get checkmated, you know, your, your opponent just goes, uh, check, check. I'm, I'm sorry, what? What did you say? <laughs> You're in check. You're in trouble. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Thank you. I wasn't aware, but now I am. You don't see that in foot. You don't, you don't see the linebackers, you know, just talking to the quarterback. Hey, uh, we're blitzing. <laughs> what? He's uh, doing a safety blitz from back in there. I'm sneaking in right here between the center and the, uh, and the, center and the guard. Oh, oh, okay. Um, hey, block him. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Linebacker. I had no idea. One of the only jokes where I whisper. I go from screaming jugular to whispering linebacker. I'm going to pin in my jugular. Thank you, Mr. Linebacker. Sound man's going, would you just pick on a, on a volume level, ho-ho? Because I'm back here scrambling. You're all over the place. Ugh. All right, well, let's take a break. We'll be back. It's Whip 'em Out Wednesday. We tell you how to get a wow sticker, but we can't plug the website.